season. The bus will be here soon, so we need to hurry. I don't want to miss it. Don't worry, Mikey. We won't be late. We just need to get home, but this is the last bus, so there's no point in being late either. Oh, here's the bus. Stop! Uh, How are we supposed to get in here? It's all full! I'm shocked! It looks like we'll have to ride on the roof. We huh? have no choice. We need to get home somehow. There are already people sitting on the roof, so we can sit here too. Nothing will happen. We have a long way to go home, so we need to get comfortable. Don't worry, everything will be fine and we will get home. I don't understand why they don't make a double-decker bus. Hey, Mikey, how could you fall like that? I didn't think the buses in the city were so bad. What are we going to do now? I suggest we build our own double-decker buses. Let's hmm. go spin the roulette wheel. This is a good idea. Let's go. The roulette will choose the one who will build from the rich resources. I hope it will be me. <laughs> Whoa, Mikey, I'm sorry, oh. but you're unlucky again. Today, I'll build from rich resources again. And I'm unlucky again. I don't understand what's wrong with this roulette. I keep getting poor resources. I'll have to build them again. I hope I can build a normal bus from them. Of course you will succeed. I believe in you. And I also have a cool jetpack again. With it, I can fly. And it's cool. Thank you for supporting me. Let's take resources and go build. The faster, the better. You're right, Mikey. It's time for us to go build. But the jetpack is really cool. I like flying on it every time. I hope that soon I will also get rich resources. And I will finally be able to fly on this jetpack. I really want to do this. It's time to fly. I don't want our families to wait long while we build the bus. I wonder how quickly I can build it. <laughs> here is the place where I will build my double-decker bus. There is a lot of space here. The cool thing is that I have rich resources. I can use them to build a cool bus that will have a lot of space. I think it will drive around the city so that the city has cool buses. People will be happy with new buses. There will always be room in it because it will be big and two-story. I am sure that people in this city have not ridden on double-decker buses. I am sure that they will like to ride on it. I hope that Mikey will be able to build a cool bus that will drive well. After all, he has such poor resources. It's time to stop being distracted and start building. The bus will be big, so I will have to spend a lot of time building it. I will try to build it quickly. Let me tell you some facts about buses. The tireless English inventor Richard Trevithick surprised the residents of the town of Camborne on Christmas Eve 1801. He tested his machine on the streets of the town, which became one of the first prototypes of a bus. The cabin of the unusual invention could accommodate eight people, and the fireman was on a special footrest constantly throwing coal into the firebox of the steam boiler as fuel. The bottom of my bus is already done. I built it quickly, and it's cool. I'll tell you one more fact. The new mechanical means of transporting people was called a bus, combining two words. It was the omnibus that carried passengers that became the predecessor of the new means of transportation. In 1829, a bus with a comfortable and expanded interior with 28 seats appeared on the streets. It smoked less, and in speed, it overtook all the vehicles that existed at that time. And at the end of the 19th century, buses with electric motors appeared, which already quite resembled modern prototypes. Now you know a little more about the history of buses, but that's not all. Here's another fact. In 1896, the German company Benz presented the world with the first bus with an internal combustion engine. It ran on gasoline and its speed was 13 kilometers per hour. In Russia, a similar model was manufactured in 1903 at the freeze plant. It accelerated to 16 kilometers per hour and the cabin could accommodate 10 people. One significant drawback, the St. Petersburg bus did not have a roof. It's been a while and I haven't even built half of the bus. This is bad, so I need to speed up. I hope that Mikey will be able to build a bus. He has poor resources. After all, something usually happens to his buildings. 
<laughs> but I hope that this time, everything will be different, and he will build a bus that will transport people around the city to replace the old bus in which there is little space. And I'm already close to building half of the bus. That's good. It will be able to fit a lot of people. And it seems to me that at the very beginning, a lot of people will come to see it and ride it. Let me tell you about the cool London buses. There are legends about London buses, and the first red double-decker beauties drove onto the streets of London in 1959. There is a legend about the mystical route master with the number seven, which suddenly appears and disappears into nowhere at the intersection of Cambridge Gardens and St. Mark's Road. The story is fueled by the fact that this is the place in the English capital where unusual accidents are most often recorded. I won't have a bus like the one in London, but it will also be double-decker, and that's cool. So everyone will like it, because basically all the buses in London are double-decker. I've already built the seats. I'm close to building half of the bus. I thought it would take me much longer to build. I wonder how Mikey is doing. I hope everything works out for him. I have few resources, so I don't need much space for construction. It's time to start! I want to quickly build a bus and ride around the city. My family will be happy! And also people who want to ride with me! I will have a small bus, but it will be double-decker! So it will have more space than a city bus, so it will be better than a regular bus. It's time not to get distracted! Awesome! In 1959, engineers and designers in Britain gave birth to a legend. This is the first image that pops up in our minds after we hear the word bus. It's a London double-decker red school bus. The popularity of this bus model was also inflated by one of the urban legends of Foggy Albion. Namely, the story of Route Master Number 7, a ghost bus that even appeared in the Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban series. It was in it that he got to Diagon Alley at night. And the story itself tells of a bus that suddenly appears and disappears into thin air. The belief in the legend is fueled by multiple accidents in the area of the ghost bus's route. I would like to build such a bus. Such a bus would be better than Mazin. But I'll have to build a bus from bad resources because that's all I have. Buses that were created specifically for transporting children stand out for their special safety in the world. It is no coincidence that they are distinguished by their yellow color. It has been scientifically proven that yellow attracts attention better than the usual red. American developments increase special precautions with a retractable barrier and stop signs on the side of the road when boarding. So we found a second floor for the bus. Look, it's an old bus. Let's use it. We can quietly take it away from here and then dismantle it. That way we won't have to build a second floor out of mud. You have a good idea, but we won't be able to take it away from here. So let's take it apart here. Let's take everything we need. It's cool that we found it. Did you think I wouldn't oh. see you? Dogs, attack them. Don't let them steal anything from here, stupid thieves. Stupid guard and dogs, get out of here quickly. We can't let him catch us. We can't go to jail. So get out of here quickly. Here we come to the station. Here we can make a second floor for our bus. Just need to show them the drawing, and then they will understand what needs to be done. Mechanics, come here. Hello, glad we found you. We need to build a second floor for the bus. We have a project. So what? Will you help us make the second floor? Uh, this is not possible. Go away from here and don't bother us. Dad, look, there's dynamite hmm. here. Let's set it on fire. Their workshop will explode. Interesting. That's how we'll get revenge on them for laughing at us. Okay, son, I just happen to have a lighter. I'll light them now. It'll be fun. Now, they will have nothing left. There was no need to laugh at us, stupid mechanics. <laughs> Explosion, wow, cool. Now they have nothing, and it's cool. We will build the second floor ourselves without them. I don't understand how our workshop could explode. I'm very upset. Everything worked out. It's time to leave here. I'll have to build it myself after all. So I'm back to building the bus. Half of it is left to build. Need to speed up. Let me tell you some facts about the wheeled bus. In 1925, Albert Lewis Sr., the owner of two Ford dealerships, had a customer who needed a bus. Lewis ordered a wooden passenger body for a 20-horsepower Ford Model T T-Truck from a local workshop. However, the car did not survive the bumpy roads of Georgia and began to fall apart even before the buyer had paid off the installment plan. Lewis was passionate about the business and promised himself that he would not make such a mistake again. 
When another customer approached him with a similar order in 1927, he made the body for him on a strong steel frame himself. The buyer was a local school. The car was painted yellow and called Bluebird number. One, this is how the first school bus that has survived to this day appeared. The first floor is already ready. All that's left is to build the roof and we can build the second. Did you know that Pakistan has unveiled the world's first three-decker limousine bus? This is the most luxurious public transport you've ever seen. Even business class on an airplane is not as comfortable as this bus. Pakistan has unveiled the first-class triple-decker sleeper limousine plus flax. This is the only bus in the world with three floors and sleeping berths. The first floor is occupied by six VIP seats with separate doors. In the luxury box, the traveler will find a cozy armchair, jersey egg for fryerie, bait cozy or burr, a TV with a stereo system, a backlit salon, a refrigerator, a table, and even a telephone to contact the driver. The experience is comparable to flying business class on Emirates. I didn't think that even three-story buses exist. But in our city, there aren't even two-story ones. Have you ever wondered why London buses are red? Until 1907, buses were painted different colors according to their route. But due to fierce competition between bus companies, the London General Omnibus Company, LGOC, which eventually became the largest bus operator in the capital, decided to paint its entire fleet red to stand out from its competitors. After receiving support from the Metropolitan Police, the company also introduced numbers on the buses to represent the different routes. I have a little bit left, so I need to hurry in order to write it as soon as possible. Did you know that buses and pigeons helped the British war effort? In 1902, the LGOC introduced the so-called buses to compete with the newly opened Central London Railway, now known as the Central Line. The most successful and reliable bus was the B-Type. 900 of these buses were used during the First World War to transport troops, and some were converted into carrier pigeon coops. Just so you know, the second floor won't have a roof. This is to have a better view and to give people air. They'll definitely like it. And after so much time, I still have a little bit left to finish building it. I can't wait to ride it with my family. Just look at how cool it turned out. I really like it. You can already ride it. <laughs> left is to finish building the second floor and everything will be ready there is a legend that a ghost bus drives along the roads of london they say that at the intersection of saint mark's road and cambridge gardens bus number seven is often seen which suddenly appears and just as suddenly disappears perhaps this story is so popular also because many accidents under mysterious circumstances have happened at this place but it doesn't exist because we all know that ghosts aren't real there's no need to be afraid. Here's another fun fact. After World War I, London was short of buses. One man named Partridge realized he could make money by starting an independent service, but he wasn't the only one. Dozens of these companies started popping up, and by 1924, there were 200 independent buses in London. These buses didn't stick to just one route, often taking shortcuts to avoid heavy traffic. Races between LGOC buses and pirates became a common sight on the streets of London. That's the story, and my bus is already ready. I did it quickly. I'm happy. Just look at how beautiful it turned out. I like it, and I'm sure it's strong, and it can carry a lot of people. You'll see for yourself soon. Look, here come the people. We'll take them now. They'll like it. Come on board my bus. We have a new bus. Yep. It's also double-decker. Now there will be awesome. a lot of space in it. Get in quickly! You'll like it! Now there's enough room for everyone in my bus. After all, it's bigger and it has two whole floors! I'm glad that something new is appearing in our city. I've never seen a double-decker bus. It looks cool. But for some reason it's made of mud. Huh? to the bridge and broke down. I'm in shock. I didn't think this would happen. Everything was fine. <laughs> Get on our bus. We will take you where you need to go and nothing will happen to you because we have a very high quality bus.
Susan, here you are. I'm shocked. You have a really cool bus. Thanks, Mikey. I really like him, too. <laughs> and we like it, too. It's the best bus we've ever ridden, so we'll give Whoa. you lots of diamonds. It's cool that there's a awesome. bus like this in the city now. I'm glad you all liked it. He will now be transporting people. <laughs>